live to Dallas, Texas for the battle between Canelo Alvarez and British 154 pound title holder Liam Smith. Alvarez going back down in weight from his previous perch at middleweight, looking for a 154-pound title. To get you ready for that, we're going to look back at Canelo Alvarez's most recent appearance in the ring. It took place May 7 in Las Vegas against British welterweight star Amir Khan, who was moving up two divisions in weight, hoping that his speed and skills would create a puzzle for the larger, stronger Alvarez. Let's take a look back to May 7 and see how that turned out and how I called the fight with Roy Jones and Max Kellerman. Okay, gentlemen, chunks are okay on both sides. Anything landing on the belt, I'll consider it low. Now, Saul, Amir, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up, for this birthday. Amir Khan has not been in the ring for a prize fight in 344 days. 21 days short of a year. Will that affect him? Early? He's not looking to counterpunch. He's looking to front run. First two punches are... Hard right hand by Khan following the jab. And immediately... You see the hand speed advantage for Amir Khan. And that's what he had to do, Jim. He had that he could have got Khan, but he didn't throw it. Now he saw it. He saw how he saw the setup. He saw that he missed it. Then he tried to throw it. On Ruiz, they have to let the bigger guy know that they're in there with a real fighter. And Khan is trying. Then he can absorb one of Canelo's punches. Canelo is a measured, patient fighter. There's part of his bread and butter as he fires the right hand to the body and digs it in. Just missing with a right. Hard left hook by Alvarez in there. Khan took it well. It wasn't big. Well, so far, I think Khan's trainer, Virgil Hunter, is going to like this first round. And can he move without running, not waste energy and give? Here's the Canelo faint and get caught by that hook. Right hand, beautiful straight right hand, right on the face of Canelo. Something that he's definitely not used to having him in the first round and here's how visible it was 27 nieces and nephews at ringside and there's the response of one of them being shots like that in round one Khan and make him pay for misses like that yeah but there's another one two that lands for Amir Khan Canelo's going Canelo landed a right hand to the body missed with the left hook punch between the second and third punch a terrific fight so far in terms of the ring he seems to have quicker hands than feet Boxing experts he predicted the fight, picked Alvarez to win. By Here we see Canelo finally catch Khan with a beautiful left hook. Looked down and came up, and Khan took that shot well and actually landed that little cross jab of his own back. As you see, giving the first two rounds. To oh, before he hurts his gym. My prediction is, he as I would tell him, focus on the body for the first several rounds. You know. Different trainers have different philosophies. Good left hook by Khan. He's smart, though. He's even hit it. So Virgil yells, point, point. Either of you guys know what that means? Could be talking about the pivot. Point to the left, point to the right. Keep him out of position. Don't stand there. Not allowing him to set up a... Uh, an Canelo tracked him down. But, you know, he, 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 he tries to move forward slowly. Land hard shots. Let go he threw a at him. Round three to win. Everyone loves the blood and guts, all-out action fights with two guys coming at each other. But this is... A oh, over the top, good body shot. Was the right counterpunch for Avery. Left hand to the back. Khan's movement is much more purposeful. He remains in position to counter like that. When a jab going, but he missed with the right hand and turn. And Khan's quick hands are... Causing Khan a problem. How much is he feeling those punches to the body? That is of how Triple G came out and used his jab against uh, Exchange moments ago. That's the danger zone for him. Canelo. Consistently on the hunt, keeping it keep better job of cutting off the ring here in the fourth. Here you see the classic power shot by Canelo, that beautiful right hard body shot right there. 
hard punch to the body because he's the more powerful guy. But right here you see the quick guy step one jab, step off the counter, and one, two, three punches with that quick hand speed before Canelo can get back. Canelo Alvarez's middleweight title belt as an absolute must mandatory bite. Hard left hook for Alvarez lands upstairs. He had to reach a little bit, but he caught Khan with it. I thought. And Tripai, at a certain point, I think is going to way to go. Yeah, but Khan has any question about Khan's heart. Should have 17 and Blan of Cuba, the man who beat win the world championship from him, the final middle round to me strategically. Hard punch Canelo, by Canelo. Also not letting the play get taken away from him. Uh, not to do. We don't want Khan to throw three or four punches because he'll undercurrent, which may ultimately decide the fight. And he's outlanding Canelo to the head. But Canelo is piling. Those are like the hidden boats from out in the rural area. Oh, beat Khan like this. <laughs> Good right to the body from now forced to acknowledge those Canelo shots. He's having more and more difficult as Khan does a better job of cutting off the ring. I feel like there's been a, a kind of sea change in this fifth round. You see Canelo land a beautiful left hook and it looked like uh, Khan may have been hurting, but it's just the way he is. His movement is so awkward right, right there. He bounces both feet up in the air at the same time and he just does that. So I don't think he's really hurt. And here you see a beautiful body shot right to the body by Canelo. Those are the shots that Canelo was so far. It would appear to be Canelo's right hand to the body. So at least on Harold's unofficial scorecard, Canelo... Bring him up, bring him up. The longer it goes. Amir Khan fighting above the 147-pound level, D5. Hard body shot with the right hand. Are hitting air or gloves? And Canelo's it to the left hook and the right body shot landed. Sir, cutting off the ring, creating less and less physical space between himself and Khan. And exactly, it's because Canelo backs out now, it gives him time. Tries to box like he did again. That's Jim and Sam. now the jab upstairs landing with frequency. Not just at the... As well as taking away his energy and every... Oh! oh right hand shot by Canelo. Take another look at how it happened, Roy. Yeah, you see Khan just sitting there, threw that jab, not ready. He gave him a feint. Khan was not ready for the feint. And the overhand right caught him because he had held him with the feints earlier. When you hold a guy, you feint him, he doesn't move. Next time you feint him, you go ahead with the kitchen sink. Right here. Feint the jab. He didn't want to hit the jab, just feinted him to get close enough and close the door with the kitchen sink. And that's how you put a guy out. Very reminiscent of the feint and right hand combination that knocked out James Kirkland one year ago. Exactly. Same exact shot, just against a right hander instead of a left hander this time. Canelo knew that he had wrecked Khan with that shot, and he was immediately concerned about the condition of his opponent. Kenny Bailey. A KO victory and still WBC Ring Magazine Lineal Medal Champion of the world, Saron Canelo.